Hello, my darlings. Are you a fan of a good tuna sandwich? And are you looking for a better way to present them at a party for your guests or even for your family? These bite-sized party appetizers, tuna pinwheel sandwiches, are the answer. They're so much fun to make. They're very versatile, and even your kids will get a kick out of them. Uh, you can make them with chicken or egg or even a vegetarian filling if that's what you prefer. But by far, the tuna pinwheel sandwich is the easiest to make and very yummy too. So for this, I'm using two cans of tuna. I'm using flaked tuna in oil. You need to drain the oil thoroughly first. Now we're going to add this to a small processor. Add two shallots or the same amount of red onion, four tablespoons of your favorite mayonnaise, Please check my recipe for homemade mayonnaise and we're also going to add one teaspoon of mild American mustard here. Very basic. Now we're just going to process this until you get a nice uh, filling that is spreadable. It shouldn't be too chunky for best results. You can add a little salt and pepper if uh, you need to. And now we're going to slice up our bread. Use regular sandwich slices. You will need 9 to 12 slices of bread depending on the size of the bread you're using. Use a sharp knife to cut off the crust. You need 3 slices of bread to make one roll for the pinwheel sandwiches. We're going to lay them like this vertically. The pinwheel will be large or small according to the size of your bread slice. So we're going to lay them like this, 3 in a row. And we're just going to brush it evenly with some melted butter. Just a light layer all over the surface. Make sure you don't get any butter on the sides or on the other side of the bread because it ruins the presentation later. Now we're going to spread our tuna filling evenly and thinly all across the top. Now we're going to roll these three slices of bread into a log that will be later sliced into the pinwheels. As for this, we need the help of some parchment paper. I have a strip of parchment paper here and it's going to help me to neatly roll the pinwheel as well as secure them into shape. So you just use the parchment paper to help lift the bread and roll them securely but gently with your hands. Careful not to smush the bread. We want our pinwheels to have a nice round shape. So once you've rolled them up nicely, just use the parchment paper to roll them up and secure them on the sides like a candy wrapping paper. And we can continue with the next uh, slices of bread. You can use any bread that you like, uh, but I did find that white bread, soft white bread slices made the nicest pinwheel sandwiches. And to switch it up a bit, you can use different types of tuna filling, like uh, you can use spicy tuna, chili tuna, and you can also add different uh, fillings, like a little bit of shredded lettuce, cabbage, carrot, anything like that. Not too much, because it makes it difficult to roll up later. And on the edges of the bread, where one slice of bread meets the other you can add just a little bit of the melted butter this helps it stay together and makes the end result the pinwheel look better i did find that the smaller size bread slices made the nicest pinwheel sandwiches but if you want your final pinwheel sandwiches that's the circle to be bigger uh, to be topped with ingredients like chopped scallion or grated cheese for uh, garnish, you might want to make them bigger with the bigger slices of bread. Always make sure that the bread is aligned correctly before you start to roll them. And it really is important that you don't get the butter on the sides and the other side of the bread because it ruins uh, the final presentation. Now once the tuna wheels are rolled in the parchment paper. I also like to secure them with foil paper. This helps to freeze them better. We're going to place them in the freezer till they're nice and set. And don't throw away your sliced crusts. You can make breadcrumbs with them later. 
So just stick them in the freezer and let them set. Uh, you can even place them overnight. It, it doesn't matter. They will thaw. If they, if they have set too hard, you just want to leave them out at room temperature for a little while without smooshing the bread. Unwrap them and we're just going to let them thaw till they're soft enough to slice easily. Use a very sharp knife here. If they're frozen in any uh, sense, like towards the center, just let them rest for a little while longer before you slice them. They should slice very easily and they make these cute pinwheel sandwiches. Now these are the smaller sized ones. The larger sized ones, as I mentioned before, you can top them with some chopped scallion or cheese or anything you like. The smaller ones, you can add some ground black pepper on top. That's pretty nice as well. These cute pinwheel tuna sandwiches make a great party appetizer or special snack. I hope you enjoyed this quick video recipe. I uh, hope you try them and let me know. I'm Shana. Thanks for watching. Bye.